for you today to show you some of the things that I picked up from the charity shop over the past about week or so. So the first thing I'm going to show you is for the house and it's this. And it is a, I don't really call it, I think it's a candelabra. It's got little bits for the tall candles to go. It is this, it's quite heavy, it's metal. And it's got little swirls all on it and it's got all the beads were attached which is good. In fact the original tag was still on this so I don't think the person that had it before used it. It does need a little clean up, it's a little bit dusty but it'll look gorgeous, I love it. And this was 6 99 love that. Get that out of my way. And the next thing, some of the things, my partner Mark, he loves charity shops as well, some of them he actually picked up for me. So I'll show you a couple of the little, little things that he picked up. One of them was this little ring he picked up for me. And I don't know if you can see that, it's like little diamantes in the middle of the flower and the flower's sort of very 3D. And it sort of looks like that on. I really like this. This was 99 pence. There's that. And the other little thing he picked me up was this. I don't know if you're going to get a close look. There's a little sort of, looks like a sort of prince and princess. And it, this is an enamel on the top. And it's a little old fashioned pill box. And it opens up like this. I thought this would be good for, I like to carry about like headache tablets just in case you get a headache when you're out. And I thought, Pop a couple in there and put them in your handbag and it would be cute way to keep them. Be cute. And that was, I think he said this was £2.49 because the tag's off it, but it was £2.49 I'm sure. And the next thing Mark actually picked up as well is this. Sort of weird. It's got the hood at the back and it looks like this. It's got a sort of aztec -y tribal pattern on the top and then at the bottom it's stars. And it's actually a little play suit. It's little shorts like that. And it zips down the front. This still has its original tags on it. It's from River Island. And I think, given that it's got the stars at the bottom, I think it might be pyjamas. I'm not sure. I would probably wear it just for lounging about the house or jammies anyway. And this was £1.99. So there's that. And the next thing I bought, this, these were 99 pence. They're just cheap leggings. They're from Primark. They're actually a size 6. And I am by no way a size 6. I'm like an 8 to 10. But they're really stretchy. And I thought I might get away with them. Because they're stretchy. These are just black and white. And they've got. Kind of looks like embroidered kind of flowers on it. They're sort of risen a little bit. And I thought they were just funky. And a wee bit different to just plain black leggings. So I got them. What else did I get? These, Mark looked at me like I was crazy when I brought these in. I think he thinks they're horrible, but I love them. These are navy blue and I think it's cream. Navy blue and cream striped trousers. And they're just slightly cropped at the bottom, just sort of short of your ankle. And these I absolutely love. I thought they'd be lovely in the summer with a pair of tan sandals, and your nails painted red and maybe a white t-shirt. I thought that would be lovely. These are from New Look and these are a size 8, so I hope they fit me. They don't look too small, I think they should. So there's them and they were 99 pence, I don't know if I said that. And the next thing I got, just plain, but I absolutely love jumpers in this material. It's like thin, but not too thin that you feel freezing, but good for like about the house at this sort of time of year. And it's just a blue, sort of blue and creamy and tan sort of pattern like this. It's just pretty plain. This is 99 pence, it's from the... Brand Alison Daily. I've never heard of it. I don't know. I think when you get blue eyes, blue tops and stuff look nice on you. So I got that. Next, I don't think I mentioned this, but Mark tends to like to pick up weird things. This time round, I think he only got one weird item, but it's pretty weird. It's right up there. It's this unicorn journal, it's called, apparently. It's never been used. It's like a notepad. And it's got little, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, little pictures of unicorns and little girls and things on the inside. And it's lined paper. And I like stationery, like notepads, and I'm always writing lists and things. So he thought that would be nice for me. And if I should, if you see the eye staring at you, it's just so weird. And if you look at it from that, it's all risen. And it's in this sort of rubbery, it's just weird. And there's that. I don't know how much you pay. Oh, I do. One ninety nine it was for that. I like weird stuff, so... I like it. So there's that. And the other thing I bought was, these were just plain. These are 99 pence. They're just skinny fit jeans. Just totally plain skinny fit jeans, but handy. And these are a size 8. And these are by the brand 365 Denim. Never heard of that either. But there's them. 
and these are for kicking about the house these are by the brand Manuka it's got a little sort of minty kind of coloured logo down there and they've got a little bit at the back I think they sell this brand in TK Maxx because I think I've had like sort of yoga pants or pants I'm not American yoga trousers tracky bottoms if that make before they're just plain they actually look brand new they don't feel like they've been washed or anything and they're just grey and they're just for kicking about the house comfy and then this I didn't actually get this at the charity shop I actually bought this on eBay and this was five pounds but I just fell in love with it it's pink and fluffy and just it's not even coming up on camera as pink or fluffy as it actually is it's so lovely it's got the hood at the back the front is just open it doesn't have any buttons on it it's just it's just I just love it love that and where are we and then mark bought me this i liked all the stuff mark got me apart from this i did not like this i tried it on just to see if i would change my mind about it but it just doesn't suit me at all i just don't like it it's this dress it's by you paid 1.99 for it it's by the brand rare london and it looks like this the top is just like this and then it's got beading sort of sparkly beads all the way around the waist and then at the bottom of it it stops about here but then the sort of sheer material keeps going and trails at the back i think it would look really lovely on someone it just does not suit me it's not my type of thing and then at the back it's cut out at the back so i'm not sure what kind of bra you'd wear with that but anyway it's that i just didn't like it it's not for me so it'll probably be going back to the charity shop but never mind and this he got me i did like this actually i'm looking at all the stuff and he pretty much got most of this this is from dorothy perkins it's a size 10 and he paid 1.99 for this and it's just a little summery dress it's got kind of green two different colors of green flowers on it and it's got little lacy sort of embroidery detail on the top like this it comes down i'll probably set just above my knees and it's sort of floaty like that I suppose you could wear it with leggings maybe just now like leggings and a cardigan but I think I'm going to keep it for the summer and wear it like that I really like that so there's that and I think this is the next item of clothing and it is this these are just black leggings these are from George they're a size 8 and these were 99 pence and they just look like that you can't have too many pairs of leggings they're a little bit dressier than an ordinary legging just because they've got a little belt loop here and the little zips here and then they've got a little zip there so it just makes them a little bit more dressy than ordinary leggings but they feel like just a thick good quality legging so you'll probably be super comfy in them but they just look that wee bit dressier so there's that and then the next things he got me was three handbags because he knows i love handbags so the first one I'll show you is this. This still has, I don't know if you can see this, it still has its original tags on it. This is from M & Co and he paid £1.50 for this. It's just a, I don't know what material that is, you know that sort of rain-coated material stuff. It just looks like this. It's pretty plain. I thought it'd be good to just go into the shops, chuck your purse and all your bits in it, kind of bag. It's got a black strap. And then inside it, it's got a little, I don't know if you're going to see that, it's got a little zip pouch inside it. And that looks like this. And I like it. And the next bag that he got me was this bag here. I don't know, it's got a sort of military type feel to it for me. It's got the handle like this, so you can wear it cross body, the handle's tangled up. This still has its original tags on it. And this is by the brand, I am not even going to add it, cat cake. Keiko? I don't know. I'll show you. I'm not going to. I'll probably get the name completely wrong. It looks like this. Yeah, I think it's just got a sort of military feel about it. It's got a little net sort of pocket thing here. It opens up at the front. Like this, if I can do it with my left hand. It opens up at the front here. And then inside it is another little sort of pocket thing. It's got a little zip pocket thing here. And then inside it, it has a little drawstring so you can pull it shut and another little zip pocket on the inside and it's a sort of weird shape if you look at it but when you put it over your body it actually fits really snug it it looks better on than it does off it sits really nice sort of on your body and i thought it'd be nice as a sort of casual kind of bag 
And the next one, this is nothing special, but for some reason I absolutely love, 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 love this bag. This again has the digital tags on it. It's by, I'm just going to show you it instead of trying to pronounce it. That is it. This is a real leather bag. And I don't know, I just love this. I just really, really like this. It's really simple, but it's got what I like. Loads and loads and loads and loads of pouches on it. So if I show you the pictures at the front, it's got a little name across the top. It's got a pocket here, like that, and it's got this sort of silky sort of material inside. It then has another pocket up here, bigger pocket. And then on the inside, it has a zip pocket on the inside and two little sort of just pouches to slip things in. And then on the back, this is just overkill with pockets and patches and pouches. I absolutely love this. On the inside here, it's got a zip pocket, it's got a space for all your cards, and then inside this zip pocket is another zip pocket. How good is that? I love pockets and pouches. I love it. And it's got the, what do you call it, the RFID protection, you know, so people can't like steal your identity from like scanning your bag, the new thing that they're all doing. It's got that in it. So it's extra safe i don't know why you ever just get something you it's just so simple but you just love it i just absolutely love this bag i really like it so that's everything i think that is everything i got and i'll see you next time bye